Today in the news, we got a weird CPU, 32 RTX 3080s, sort of, and a badass motherboard. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. It looks like a new computer is in town and it's causing some ruckus, mostly because it's quite a weird one. It's got eight cores, 16 threads, an RX 550, ew, 16 gigs of GDDR6, and a five terabyte SSD. Notice how I didn't mention the amount of DDR4 memory? Well, that's because it doesn't have any. The CPU is called the 4700S, and from the looks of it, it's the Xbox Series X's CPU with the graphics section disabled. Since it's disabled, it allows for a little bit of overclocking on that CPU for a 4.0 gigahertz boost. Now it's still on Zen 2 and because of the lower clock and absolutely terrible GPU, it's worse than an APU like the 4750G that they tested. But it's nice to see that silicon not going to waste, especially in times like these. Although it would have been nice to have, you know, part of the IGP be enabled. Next up, we got Bitmain in the news. The company just teased a brand new ASIC for mining Ethereum. According to their specs, this ASIC can mine with the equivalent power of 32 RTX 3080s while consuming a little over 2,500 watts. That's great, right? Miners will buy that instead, you might ask. Well, not really. They're just gonna keep buying GPUs because first of all, the rumored price of twenty dollars to $30,000 is kind of insane. And also ant miners lose their value really quickly, which means reselling it is hard. But not only that, but Bitmain has been rumored to have some shady practices. Like after you place your order, they will allegedly use your machine for several months to mine before sending it to you, at which point the miner and the resale value will have tanked. And in mining news, and no, I'm not talking about GPU mining, we've got the craziest motherboard I've seen in a while. Now, remember back when mining was at its peak back in 2018, and motherboard vendors started making these weird motherboards with insane amounts of PCIe slots, like this one? Well, we got something similar, but this time for Chia coin mining. Chia, in case you didn't know, is a coin that is farmed, not mined, but farmed on hard drive space. It uses something called the proof of space and time, instead of proof of work like Bitcoin or Ethereum. It's not the first and probably not the last, but here is the mother of all motherboards for it. I mean, look at this thing. It has 32 damn SATA ports. Honestly, I wanna buy one just to throw all the drive I can connect to it in RAID 0 and see how fast it goes. Unfortunately, Chia mining means drives might become scarce. So like I said last time, boys, if you need extra storage, get it now. And speaking of scarcity, hard drives won't be the only ones affected. According to this article from the National Post, the shortage will affect pretty much everything, from toaster ovens to TVs and even washing machines. What's worse is that the chips made for appliances and such are unfortunately going all the way back to the end of the queue. And it's not just TSMC who's feeling this pressure. Smaller chip manufacturers like High DB Tech also have trouble keeping up with demand of display drivers and power management chips. I mean, I'm the market for appliances. I hope this thing doesn't screw me over. And lastly, in gaming, as a cheer up, we got a new trailer for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. And man, does it look good. I was a big fan of the first couple of games, and this one just looks like a nice throwback. It's a shame that it'll be PS5 only since the console is so hard to get. Heck, I've seen Series X's in stock before, but no PS5s. There will also be a 15 minute video of gameplay being released towards the end of the week on April 29th. That is when the next PlayStation State of Play is. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here, to subscribe to the channel, stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Yeah.